Buenos dias, everybody. Hey. <laughs> She's the only one that looks extra cute. I look crazy. Just woke up, did my little face routine. I don't know if you see the glow. Do you see the glow? This is rude, because why is this so loud? Today's agenda. It has a lot. For the next two days, but today's Sunday. Tomorrow, I have pre-op. And today, my sister's surgery. She just went like a couple hours ago. And she should be back in like, I want to say like four or five hours. Yay, surprising. I have a bunch of stuff that I have to pick up. Errands, all of that good stuff. I have to eat. I have to do my hair. Well, I'll just show y'all. But first, let me... Let me do my makeup or something. No, no, I lied. Am I gonna do my makeup first? No, no, no. Let's start with my hair. Let me get my hair together. I'm not gonna show that because I've done it a lot of times on TikTok and my channel, so. Okay, so I'm in the middle of putting my wig on and my sister's here, so I'm about to run downstairs and go check on her real quick. It's you. Oh wow. <laughs> How are you? You wasn't texting or calling us. I couldn't do it. I could not do it. Girl. I don't know. I'm calling other people who were doing it. I could not do it. Hey. Oh yeah, guess who came? Wow. I just started the vlog. Hey. How do you guys feel about your mom just coming back looking like a stuffed potato? She looks the same, like with her butt kind of the same, but you can see it. Like it looks huge. <laughs> big booty Judy. <laughs> you got a big old booty, girl. Okay, shake, shake, so shake funny. your mama gate well. A few moments later. It's a new day. I didn't even install my wig. I just slapped it on my head and put a hat on. But I'm on my way to the appointment with my sister. She's gonna get her post-op uh, massages. And I canceled my surgery. It's supposed to be tomorrow. I was supposed to have pre-op today and surgery tomorrow, but my intuition was going crazy and there was a lot of crazy stuff that was happening behind the scenes. So I canceled it, but I'm gonna talk to the doctor and so he can answer all my questions and ease my pain. Hopefully he's there. Then I came the and asked you. They keep calling. Who is that? Oh, wow. <laughs> so I talked to the doctor, the nurse assistant. The assistant, the doctor assistant. His assistant, and she went to go get the doctor. So this is a new office, y'all. But I'm sitting down and she over here like, I tried to sit. Ow. Oh, wait. <laughs> she can't laugh. So anyway, so he put us in a room. He's supposed to be coming. Hey. Yo, what's up? You're hey, here. how's it going? So the chat went good. This is the next day and we're proceeding with pre-op. So this was the day that I'm supposed to get surgery, but I got pre-op instead. I'll tell you guys later in the video, but basically I just felt a lot more comfortable. He was answering questions that I hadn't even asked yet that were super important. So that made me feel good. Um, there was lots and lots of paperwork. They also did a rapid COVID test. If he's looking at my hand, if he's looking, <laughs> I can't talk. If you're looking at my hand, that's eczema and, like, drying out and about to fall off. But, yeah, it went great. I felt like, like, nothing, honestly. Like, in this moment, I was just ready to get it over with. The last two times that I got my surgery, pre-op lasted so long. So, I was actually dreading it, but it went by pretty fast. So, that was good. I also got undressed and let the doctor look at me and we talked over anything last minute um, that I had concerns or questions about on my body. And yeah, it was good. It was great. Finished pre-op. What? 
what is it? Yeah, pre-op earlier today. It's a couple hours. It's currently 9.48 p.m. And they did me dirty. They hit me with a 5 a.m. surgery time. So I got to pull up, skirt, skirt. So I stopped eating at like, they said stop eating eight hours earlier. So I stopped eating already. I'm exhausted. I've been exhausted like all day. I'm doing everything tonight. So I don't have to do anything tomorrow, but just show up, tie up my hair. I'm gonna be looking rough because I can't wear makeup. I took out my piercing. Still gotta take these out. This is still new and it's still healing, so I'm gonna put a clear one in just so I don't have any problems. I got my belly button, take that out, and then I got the Dial antibacterial soap that I'm gonna wash myself with tonight since it's literally, I have to wake up in like four or five hours. Winter is up. <laughs> doing her keep coming upstairs snitching on her cousins or telling me she needs some or telling me she's hungry every hour but i gave her some sleep medicine so we can both get some solid sleep my body's gonna go through a beating tomorrow my my phone has a wi-fi <laughs> it's not working it's not working for me either i turned it off on my phone so Mommy, so I don't know how to make it work. We gotta tell Titi when she wakes up to talk, call the people to turn it on. Mommy, I want you were three years old complaining about <laughs> some Wi Fi. <laughs> Lord, today. Thought you had a friend. <laughs> so much personality. But, Mommy, I want the Wi Fi. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So anyways, what 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 was I talking about? Okay, so yeah, I'm washing myself. I'm going to try to keep the wig on. It told me that I should probably take it off because I'm going to get like lidocaine and stuff like that all over me. And last time it was really messy, but I'm going to write that in my notes to tell them to like clean me up more and to like be more careful because I ain't trying to look rough this time. You know what I'm saying? I want to look a little bit presentable. You feel me? Because I do still have like work to do so yeah i'm like way more confident i was supposed to get surgery today not tomorrow but i freaked out last minute there was a lot of things going on behind the scenes i just had to like double triple quadruple check that everything was good and i feel so much more comfortable everything happens for a reason and yeah so i'm gonna go in there i'm dreading this process because i know it takes so long to even get seen like the the surgery day is like crazy i know i told you there's no wi-fi it's not working. It's off. Mommy, turn my Wi-Fi off. I don't to watch movies. You gotta watch the movies on the TV downstairs. You can't yeah, touch it. Is, it doesn't I work. No I know. I can't give it Wi-Fi. It's not working and it's about to die. Out of 1 to 10 nervousness, I would say like a three but i feel like that's just normal if i can just go in at five and then everything be over with like i would be so happy but i'm just dreading the process because i still have to film behind the scenes they're filming me so that usually takes extra time i'll be starving can't eat can't drink not ready for this i feel like i have everything but i'm just like so over it like this is my third surgery it was like over the top for the first one the second one was kind of like eh because everybody was like okay if you already had a bbl like getting a breast augmentation is gonna be literally nothing a walk in the park and it was and then this is like basically like both of them put together except for i could sit down but i'm not as like uptight about it knowing that like that was worse than giving birth but it's, it's like you are you literally get obsessed and hooked on the look what's that chicken salad stop it smell weird and i got this little tiny one this is supposed to be like an eyebrow one but i feel like my the i don't have much skin right here that's everybody who's been so supportive on my social media like tiktoks and y'all been like let her do what she want to do because because yeah i'm gonna live my life and nobody else want to live it for me anything you want to say what anything you want to say don't mess this up nobody okay Make sure she get it. 
We, we praying for her. Ain't that right, Mama? Uplifting, yeah. not tearing down. Oh, Mommy, yeah, we're I praying for her. Too. Mm -hmm. She's going to have a great I surgery. Too. Okay, talk. That's a girl in that's a world. <laughs> what does the lady have to do with the surgery? <laughs> All right, so I'm about to hop in the shower, scrub my body. So I need to get in bed ASAP. It's 11:45. I should be going to sleep. Wash my face, my body. I'm gonna try to fix the like. Hold on. I'm gonna try to fix the lace and like put um this heatless curl thing on my hair because I'm not gonna be able to lift my hair or do it. So if it starts to slide after surgery, like I'm gonna look like a hot mess. So I'm gonna try to fix it and then go to sleep. I'm exhausted. I'm seeing in the morning though.